Hi, I'm Fred Martin. Glenna Jean and I have operated our product printing home business for a lot of years now, printing anything on anything. In that time, we have printed thousands of golf balls. They've been very popular and make good income, and many orders are multicolor. For many years, we have used our manual pad printing machine for these jobs. It's a simple piece of equipment, and a lot of home business folks use them. So here's some tricks of the trade. First, uh, there would be no job and no money to be made without an effective marketing system for our home business. So this customer first came to us through our email marketing that uses the virtual sampling capabilities of our website. We can send photographic quality mock-ups of what the product will look like before they buy. It's simple and compelling marketing from home. Join our marketing webinars to learn all about this. So this customer ordered by email. They gave us their logo as an attachment to the email. The logo art is color separated in full black. Uh, of course, we use a graphics program such as Corel Draw. We then reverse the art because the pad printing in pad printing we want the image printed on the reverse side of the transparency sheet when we go to make the plate. That is so the image is in direct contact with the plate for the best detail resolution. Then we size the art to fit on a golf ball. We slide it to the end of the computer screen in order to make efficient use of the 75 cent laser film paper that we'll be using. Now we print the art on laser film transparency. Uh, I've used this ancient HP black laser printer for over a decade. It works just fine for both pad printing and screen printing. Uh, after it comes out of the printer, we lightly spray the film with Ultimate Black. This is a product that's available at your art or screen printing supplier under the brand name uh, Ultra Black. This darkens and evens the toner and improves the density of the image on the film. Okay, the color separated art is then arranged in each of two new printing plates in the contact frame. Notice that I place two jobs on one plate. These plates cost me $4 and I charge a $40 per color setup charge. Uh, why? Because everybody does. That's standard in the printed products industry. Um, and that's it's the same or less than other commercial printing companies charge. But we can make $80 here on each plate by placing two orders on each. The plate is exposed for five minutes in my also um, very ancient ultraviolet exposure unit. UV light sets the image on these photopolymer plates. And then the plate is washed out in running tap water. It's fairly simple when you get the hang of it. Uh, I did my product printing this way for many years. Now we mix the ink. You're looking at my 17-year-old pad printing machine. It is nothing if not durable. Uh, I've printed literally millions of things on it, and uh, I just have not been able to kill it. These machines are still made by several companies, and there are a lot of them on Craigslist, eBay, and other websites like that. You need to be sure to get new pads and inks if you're buying used equipment. This machine is equipped with two ink wells, and that's how we can do tight two color registration, as we'll see. Okay, ink comes in many formulations, but type W is the correct ink for golf balls, and I mix in epoxy hardener very liberally. So, in a sense, I am printing here with colored epoxy glue. This is going to be an extremely durable imprint. Now, the art and science of manual pad printing is largely in the thinner mix. If any of you have had difficulty with manual pad printing, it's quite likely you haven't mixed the thinner properly. There's lots of epoxy in this golf ball ink. It's really gluey, so we make the ink rather thin to compensate. It would be frustrating if the ink is too thick. But using a consistency of light table syrup, 
the ink flows very smoothly and by adding a few more dribbles of thinner as we go the ink will continue to flow nicely for the couple hours that this job will take us uh, it's a good idea to use uh, chemical resistant surgical gloves and as the label on the can uh, points out uh, you know have adequate ventilation I'm working in my basement so I have a, a kitchen venting hood overhead and uh, it takes uh, takes the fumes out no problem now we need to align the ink wells and plates for perfect registration. It's fairly simple. Note from the client's logo here that the red print is under the black overprint. So we will print the red first. Eyeball the red plate under the image, uh, under the pad, and, and then set the golf ball holding fixture under the pad location. Then do a test print. If the red image lands where it belongs on the product, that side is all set up. Tighten the set screws. Now, do the same on the black side, and I, I do kind of a print and adjust, print and adjust process. Actually, it takes me five, six, eight tries before I nail, uh, nail it on the two color registration. I just sacrifice an old golf ball to get it just right. Some of the newer pad printing machines have a three axis registration table with uh, micro adjustments and, and that makes this even simpler to do. Now tighten the set screws and the machine will find its position with each print. Go at a slow, gentle, deliberate pace. Move the machine with a light touch. We ink and pick up the red side, move over and print. Then we swing over to pick up the black side of the image. If there's enough thinner in the ink mix, the pad releases the red fully and it can immediately go over and pick up the black. If there's some leftover residue on the pad, there's nothing wrong with blotting it with a tab of masking tape between prints. You see, we're making a dollar each here, so we don't need to rush to make a good hourly income. So, the product we sell in my home business is a sharp, opaque, image on the spherical surface and down the golf ball dimples. It, this is a machine that can print uh, onto all kinds of, of dimensions and shapes. Here's a crude video off my little Sony cam to show you what it's really like. This is very simply manual repetitive labor. Most people who do this kind of mindless repetitive work for an employer they only make minimum wage, but notice that I'm making a dollar each here, and each one is taking about 30 seconds. So if you start feeling like that minimum wage factory worker, just remind yourself that you're making over 100 bucks an hour, even with this simple manual machine. There was always a Zen kind of aspect to it for me. The repetitive creativity of seeing your design print off over and over kind of cleared my mind and my creative processes. It was a mental escape when I first started my business. And there are dollar bills piling up in this tray. So just relax, have fun, listen to good music, or watch TV. The key to becoming happy uh, doing this is to have as many of these $100 hours as you want to work. So again, marketing is the key to success in home business. So um, again, a pitch to attend our business or marketing webinars and find out how simple it can be to secure plenty of orders for your business. Here's the math on this job. $1 print charge each plus two setups at $40 each yields a net income of $284 and I was done by lunch. In that same time I took the photos for this video, I did two loads of laundry and I talked to three other customers on the phone. In one of my past lives I was a marketing guy for an engineering firm in, uh, in Denver doing government contracting and I had to, you know, like many of you, work eight and ten hour days and they never let me do my laundry at the office. And my customers love the results and most become repeat clients. Compare these charges at your local golf shop. I am faster, less expensive, and I require no minimum order. I am the best deal around for golf ball or any other product printing, and that's the advantage of uh, being in a home printing business. So, doing what I just showed you helped us send four daughters to college. But we're getting a bit older now, and so are the kids, so there's nothing wrong with using modern technology to make making money a, a bit 
more well efficient. We have converted our home business to a newer way to print multicolor golf balls and many other products. Uh, a new way that's cleaner and is simple press and play. So let me show you uh, how that works in this video. The Studio Print makes full color printing on 3D items easy and fast for short run orders. No more messing around with inks, plates, or time that is normally incurred through typical setup of the traditional pad printing procedure. Our Studio Print inkjet printers are compact and patented for their sleek design and desk jet capabilities. Print any image or logo within three minutes with a simple click of the print button from your desktop computer. Print different images and logos simultaneously on golf balls or a variety of other items. PC-based operation system and Logo Express software with image editing capabilities guarantees you fast and easy control. At selfemployedu.com, we do webinars on business opportunity programs, uh, marketing techniques for home business folk, including effective methods of using internet and social media marketing. So, of course, we would like you to continue with all of our free online courses. Join a webinar at selfemployedu.com and join our family of successful home business folks. Thanks for visiting today.